Eating traffic lights, operating illegal parks, plying roads with unworthy and rickety vehicles, illegal roads violations, willful road obstructions, among others, are some of the offences perpetrated by owners of these vehicles, tricycles and motorcycles, impounded by the Directorate of Road Traffic Services and displayed across five DRTS commands visited so far, starting from Mabshi to AYA to Bega, Jabi and Wuye, where a mobile court sat to arraign violators. The DRTS boss, Dr. Abdulatif Bello, and the field marshals on operations and enforcement speaks to journalists. It's cheaper to be on the side of uh, law than to break the law, you know. I agree that FCT is still a work in progress, you know. There are somehow transportation, uh, you know, infrastructural deficiency, but it's not, uh, you know, an excuse, but the federal capital city is, is almost done, it's organized. So, but we are overwhelmed by population and people are cutting corners, but we continue to be on top of our game to ensure we, we regulate their activities and we impound those that are recalcitrant and consistently breaking our laws. The fines has always been the issue. I have seen somebody that uh, we commit an offense and we want to pay fine in advance because he will say he's going to commit against. That is how what we meet on the road daily with the drivers. For them to be in a safer site, they should always do the right thing to avoid doing anything that will bring be able to apprehend their cars. Actually, where they came to us, they have to apprehend us because we are not organized. And that is why we are here. And most of our uh, uh, cars have been here for over two weeks. 233 vehicles have been impounded so far in the five commands visited in the FCT, with 64 convictions from the period of May to this period, June 14, with the highest penalty being the payment of 300,000 naira for violating traffic and willful obstructing of the road. Reporting from the Directorate of Road Traffic Services, Joy Igoche. ITV News.